Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Susan Lopresti Wellness Mind, Body, and Soul podcast, the podcast where we explore the highs, the lows, and everything in between when it comes to a woman's life, her health, and all aspects of navigating the midlife landscape. I'm your host, Susan Lopresti, and today I'm thrilled to be here to talk about a topic that affects each and every one of us, whether we realize it or not. So I'm going to delve into the fascinating world of digestive health and explore the essential role that fiber plays in keeping our digestive systems in tip-top shape. Let's get into our digestive system and its remarkable intricate network of organs and processes that allow us to break down food, to absorb vital nutrients that we need, but like any other complex machinery, right? It needs the right fuel to run, to function optimally. And that's where fiber comes into play. So let's understand fiber because it's the unsung hero of digestive health. First of all, what is fiber? Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that is found in plant-based foods like fruits and vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and also nuts. Unlike other carbohydrates, fiber cannot fully be digested by the human body. So there are two types of fiber Soluble fiber is fiber that dissolves in water and to form like a gel-like substance. And that is a way of slowing digestion. And then we have insoluble fiber. And this fiber doesn't dissolve in water. What it does is it adds bulk to your stool and it helps to prevent constipation. So now I want to talk about fiber and digestive health because they are the dynamic duo, right? Remember Batman, they work together all the time. The same thing with fiber and digestive health. First of all, it promotes regularity. Insoluble fiber adds bulk to your stool, which helps to prevent constipation. And soluble fiber softens stool and eases its passage way through the intestines. And it also helps to prevent digestive disorders. So fiber-rich diets are associated with a reduced risk of digestive disorders, including diverticulitis and hemorrhoids as well. Because when you're constipated all the time and you're always pushing, you're going to end up having hemorrhoids. It also helps with balancing gut bacteria. So fiber serves as a prebiotic, nourishing the beneficial bacteria in the gut. And a healthy gut microbiome is linked to improved digestion and overall well-being. Next, I want to go into beyond digestion, the surprising benefits of fiber after we move beyond the digestive story, right? We fall into the category of weight management. Fiber-rich foods are often less calorie dense, helping with weight control. So fiber promotes feelings of fullness, reducing your overall intake of calories on a daily basis, right? So when you're full, you're don't feel like nibbling and snacking and looking in the refrigerator to see what could I devour. You're content, you're satisfied, you're good. You don't need to eat. It also helps with heart health. So soluble fiber helps lower LDL, which is the bad cholesterol. I always remember LDL I think of the L as lousy cholesterol, and I know that that always wants to be lower. A high fiber diet may reduce the risk of heart disease. It also helps with blood sugar regulation. 
Fiber slows the absorption of sugar, helping to stabilize those blood glucose levels. And that's crucial for individuals with diabetes or those that are at risk of developing it. So how do you meet your fiber needs? The daily fiber recommendations, according to the American Heart Association, recommends 25 grams of fiber per day for adults on a 2000 calorie per day diet. Most people will fall short of this goal with an average only taking in about 15 grams per day. So how do we incorporate more fiber into your diet? You want to choose whole grains over refined grains. You want to snack on fruits and vegetables and nuts. You could also experiment with beans and legumes in your meals. You could also put beans and legumes in a nice big healthy salad as well. And you really will be upping your fiber intake. The other thing that I could suggest to you is I want you to read labels. Look for food labels that are labeled as whole grain and check the fiber content. Be also aware of added sugars and low fiber processed foods, right? You want to stay away from them. And a word of caution, and this is really important, gradually increase your fiber intake, okay? Because you want to avoid gastro intestinal discomfort and rapidly increasing your fiber intake can lead to gas, it could lead to bloating and diarrhea. And what we're trying to do is to normalize our digestive health. We don't want it to be in more of an uproar than it may already be, right? So we wanna start out slow gradually introduce more fiber into your diet to give your digestive system a chance to adapt. And then I just want to say that your digestive system truly is your best friend. So in closing, let's remember that fiber is not just a humble dietary component, but a powerful ally in maintaining our digestive health. By making conscious efforts to incorporate more fiber-rich foods into our diet, we can prevent digestive disorders, we can support our overall well-being, and take a significant step towards a healthier and a happier life. Now, if you feel that you're not able to get the amount of fiber needed in the foods that you are eating, reach out to me because I do have a fabulous product that I have been taking for years that keeps me regular. I move my bowels and it just invigorates me. It gives me energy. I'm cleaned out and it's a great, great product. It's gluten-free. You could get it sugar-free. There's a couple of different flavors. I would be happy to introduce you to that product if you're interested. On that note, I also want to suggest if anyone that you know who you think could benefit from listening to my podcast, I would so appreciate it if you could just share it out with them. I'm all about spreading my word of healing, and I especially love to work with women who are noticing that they're changing, their bodies are changing, their health is changing, their sleeping habits are changing, their eating habits are changing. Maybe they're gaining weight and they're not doing anything differently. These are the women that I love to embrace and show them that there are alternative ways to get back on track without taking your life upside down and bombarding you with a whole bunch of different things that you need to be doing. I'm all about basics. I'm all about being simplistic. And my health coaching programs are all about that as well. So if you could do one thing today to improve your health, this is what I'm going to tell you. If you don't already drink an adequate amount of water on a daily basis, Start by drinking eight eight ounce glasses of water per day and see the difference 
in your bowel movements, how your skin looks, your thirst, and also how well you'll sleep. So on that note, I want to say thank you so much as always for listening. Until the next time, be well, stay happy, and bye for now. Take good care, everyone.